Hey everyone, today I want to talk about this particular note about vetiver. I love, I just adore this note in the fragrances. Um, I know that uh, most of the fragrances with this note uh, are masculine, uh, are considered to be masculine. However, I uh, love this masculinity in the fragrances and I wear them uh, by myself. I don't have any prejudice about if this Prom or Parfum. If I like the fragrance, I wear it. Um, that's why the majority, the most probably of the fragrances you will see today are marketed as um, men fragrances. But again, I love them myself and I wear them myself. Um, what is vetiver? In general, this is a grass and uh, in uh, perfumery, they mostly use the root of the oil that is um, they get from the root of uh, vetiver grass. So the most famous type of vetiver is from Haiti or from Java. Uh, these are the type of vetivers that are mostly used in the perfumery. More than that, I myself love this particular note because um, it helps me to um, calm down. It helps with the uh, uh, neurosis. It helps with anxiety. Um, it helps me with uh, to subside an acute headache. In my case, let's say before I started filming this video, I had quite an acute headache, um, like a migraine, and I uh, had doubts about if I will be able to film this video. But after I sprayed all my vetiver fragrances that I will show you today on the blotters, uh, my headache subsided and uh, like now I feel absolutely fine um, and ready to film. So uh, again, for me, vetiver definitely has some therapeutic effect. This is not the first time that it helps me. And this is one of the reasons I believe uh, why I love this particular note in fragrances. So let's start. I will start with a fragrance that um, made me feel in, fall in love with uh, this particular note. And uh, this is one of the first fragrances that I purchased for my husband even before. I was into fragrances. I'm talking about Encre Noir from Lalique, but this time I'll show you not the original one, but the Alextreme version. Uh, I find it a little bit more interesting and probably not that um, uh, that popular like uh, the original one. And for me, this is even darker than the original. It also has, uh, for me, it has some leather accord, though it's not mentioned here. Definitely, it has some tea accord for me again that is also not mentioned, but it definitely is more smoky than the original. Probably that's why it seems darker. It has uh, incense, it's very prominent here. It's a beautiful, gorgeous fragrance that I highly advise you to try if you like, if you haven't tried yet, if you like vetiver. Because I think that all vetiver um, fans uh, normally start with Encre Noir because this is like an iconic classical vetiver fragrance, which is, by the way, also very budget. So, uh, Al Extreme version is also very, very nice um, and uh, very beautiful. A bit different with different accents, more smoky, uh, but gorgeous. The next fragrance is also classical, um, and this is a fragrance uh, from Hermes. This is Terre de Hermes, um, a bit very intense. This is very similar I would say, to the classical version, uh, with the only difference that this is not sweet. And vetiver here is more prominent uh, rather than in the original one. I have uh, the original version as well. And I would say the original version uh, is sweeter. It's a bit sweeter because it has this um, very bright and sweet orange that I think uh, is um, responsible for the sweetness in this fragrance. Though in this uh, version, there is no sweetness at all. It's drier, it's a bit more sour because uh, it has only the sour citruses like bergamot, like grapefruit and lemon. So it doesn't have any sweetness at all. Um, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful. I like this fragrance a lot and this is like my husband finished already the full bottle like this of the original one and for change I decided to buy this one. It's uh, an excellent fragrance for office. It's very office friendly in terms of the uh, projection longevity and everything. Uh, it's not over overwhelming. It's uh, like a very 
polite type of fragrance i would say though it lasts long but it's not very intense um the, the name suggests that this is uh, an intensive wear but this is not an intense version definitely so it's very office friendly type of fragrance the next fragrance is not office friendly though it's very similar to the original uh der der mess and i'm talking about uh the pure mentals version of der der mess um and this is a red vetiver or red vet red vetiver uh, it is very similar to the original, but for me it is less sweet, by the way. The original is a bit sweeter. This one is less sweet. Um, it is more dense, dense and thick. It is more intense. Uh, it is more opulent. It's quite loud. And um, the performance of this fragrance, uh, it outperforms definitely the original uh, Terre de Mess uh, because it's quite loud and the sillage of this fragrance is very prominent and quite long. That's why I would say this is not office friendly though probably if you uh, spray just maybe half of the spray or only one and somewhere, I don't know, maybe uh, in a hidden place under the shirt. But it's nice. It is not that um, it is not that rich like the original one because uh, it, it smells quite um, stable to me, like quite linear. Um, it doesn't change a lot. Whatever you smell in the beginning, you'll smell, you know, within the whole time um, of your experience with this fragrance. So it's nice in case if you are looking for a more um for a stronger version of the original one but it is less rich i would say it has less facets it has le or less um it is not that deep like the original one uh, it is not as refined as the original one i would say this is a bit more rough so um if this doesn't stop you i would suggest if you're looking for the performance go for the red vetiver uh if you're looking for the uh, more polite but uh, more refined version go with the original so the next fragrance is from Atelier Cologne and this is Vetiver Fatal and I adore this fragrance oh, just adore it this is very beautiful a bit sweet fruity vetiver uh, it has a lot of plum it has some citruses uh, it has some violet, but I don't smell any powderness in this fragrance, by the way. Um, and it has lots of vetiver, and the vetiver is the star of the show. It's shiny, very beautiful. People say uh, in the dry down, this is very similar to Baldi Freak from Byreda. I would say there, there are some similarities, but this is definitely not a dupe and not an inspired fragrance from my point of view. Um, but it's gorgeous. It is also very office friendly and uh, you can see how office friendly this fragrance is. My husband loves it. Um, and I highly suggest you to try if you like the vetiver mm, uh, based fragrances, try uh, vetiver fatal. I'm sure you'll not regret. It is, it is amazing. Uh, the next fragrance is from Amor Oud. And this is Lunar Vetiver or Lunar Vetiver. Um, this is also quite a dry vetiver. Uh, the dryness is quite similar to Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver. And altogether, I would say this fragrance reminds me a lot, like a lot of Grey Vetiver by Tom Ford. But um, I would go nowadays if I had the, if I could find the Grave to vetiver in a Tom Ford's vetiver in a old formula, the one that I had before it was uh, reformulated, like the one that I had maybe six years ago. Uh, I would go for that one. Uh, this one is a bit rougher, like it's more rough rather than the uh, Tom Ford's Grave Tour. Uh, and this one is sweeter because it has um, it has uh, vanilla and tonka beans. 
it's definitely sweeter. Uh, but for me, again, the Grey Vetiver by Tom Ford is very, very refined and very... Mm, the fragrance smells very expensive. It smells like the uh, suit from Tom Ford, like great suit from Tom Ford. It smells like the mm, characters from uh, Suits uh, series in Netflix. This is how uh, the Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver smells to me. The next fragrance is also very beautiful from Costume Nacional, uh, and this is um, Secret Woods. Secret Woods, yeah. Um, this is quite a new fragrance for me, but my husband already used quite a lot, I would say, because he just loved it from the first sniff. And it is very beautiful. It is very smoky. Also, I would say the smokiness of this fragrance can be compared to the um, Ancre Noir Extreme, or even maybe smokier. This is a secret woods. This is, the, I would say, it's definitely a very, very dark woods. Uh, and here I can smell uh, this combination of leather and saffron, which is quite typical for many Middle Eastern fragrances. But this fragrance doesn't smell like a Middle Eastern to me at all. It is quite a refined uh, European type uh, European style fragrance, I would say. Um, it is quite similar. I would say it's something in between Encre Noir and Interlude Man from Amouage. Interlude Man is sweeter, much sweeter. It has much more nuances. This is maybe a bit simpler, but it's definitely very refined. It is as refined as Interlude Man, I would say, uh, with uh, less sweetness. Um, as smoky, I would say the vetiver here smells pretty much like vetiver in Ancre Noir. It is very amplified, it's emphasized, but the, the rest of the ingredients, they are quite similar to um, Interlude Man from, from Amouage uh, without that sweetness. I would say it's like these two fragrances were combined and the sweetness from Amouage was uh, taken away. Gorgeous fragrance with amazing uh, performance um, and being quite long lasting. It's not very loud, it's not obnoxious. And again, my husband uses it uh, for the office and he's very happy. Um, so, highly recommend you suggest to try this fragrance. More than that, I, um, though I never heard about it from anyone else. So, I'm happy to think that this is my discovery. <laughs> The next fragrance is from Carolina Herrera, and this is a very, very green um, vetiver, I would say. This is Carolina Herrera Bad Boy Le Parfum. Uh, what do you think about the bottle of this fragrance? Do you like it? I'm not a big fan of it, but I'm a big fan of what's inside. Oh, I love this fragrance. Just. You know, I want to marinate in this fragrance, how my daughter said once when I asked her, do you want me to spray uh, the fragrance? She, she's a big fan of vanilla fragrances and I asked her, do you want me to spray this one? She said, mom, not spray, I want to marinate in this fragrance. I want to marinate in this one. This is the mixture of citrus, citrusy notes like grapefruit with cannabis, with vetiver. It is um, fresh green and dry at the same time with a tiny bit of sweetness uh, somewhere in the very very far amazing fragrance i love this one why well, i purchased this because i fell in love with nishanes um Karagos, the fragrance that i tried in um, istanbul i fell in love with that fragrance though it is very obnoxious it is it can be annoying because uh, in Karagos there is one particular note that can you know drill your head through your head yes it is very very loud and annoying I, I admit that but I still loved Karagos I you know I'm so smart I <laughs> sprayed it before I went to sleep I sprayed it on my shoulder which is very close to my nose and half of the night I was you know 
I could smell it, definitely. It didn't bother me during the night time, though while I was dreaming, I, was, I could still smell this fragrance. Uh, and when I woke up, I realized that I don't want a full bottle. I don't want to go with a full bottle of Karagos. However, I want to buy something very similar and this is the one. This is the one. And I am mostly the one who uses this fragrance. My husband didn't appreciate it for some reason. But I just love it and I highly suggest you, if you like vetiver plus cannabis, like a very um, obviously green fragrance, fresh, citrusy, a bit sweet, just a tiny bit sweet, go for this one. And next fragrance, uh, okay, since we have mentioned Nishanel, let's um, talk about fragrance from Nishanel. This is Vetiver Sultan, I have a sample. Um, and this is a very interesting Vetiver that, um, though I love Vetiver fragrances, I don't need in my collection. Why? Because, um, the vetiver here is very beautiful, I must admit. However, the note of neroli plus um, ambergris, the ambergris that I can smell here, they are very animalistic. This combination of neroli and ambergris is very, very animalistic. That is something that uh, not uh, my cup of tea, definitely. For me, it's very old school, like very, very old school, like, like, like retro type of fragrances. I am a big fan of retro fragrances, but not this one, definitely. Though I must admit, it's beautiful. Especially if you can, you know, uh, forget about the start and if you can survive through the start and go to the middle and base note, it becomes really attractive. But I can't, I can't tolerate this um, excessive animalistic accord in the start. In this fragrance but i know there are lots of people who like this fragrance a lot and even love it and repeat it um, so don't um, underestimate this fragrance if you are okay with neroli and ambergris combination try this one at, at least it is by the way uh, it has a nuclear performance it's it's very long lasting and it's quite projecting and uh, like all nishane fragrances pretty much the next fragrance is from uh, Jo Malone, and this is my first fragrance from this brand, uh, and it's called uh, Golden uh, Vanilla and Vetiver, or Vetiver and Golden Vanilla, sorry. So, um, I love it, just love it. So beautiful. Um, I would say this is a 100% unisex type of fragrance, men and women equally will enjoy it. Um, it is a warm vetiver. All vetivers that I showed you before are quite dry and cold, I would say. But this one is a very warm one. It's amazing for colder months in case if you want this warm, comforting type of vetiver. This is the one. Yes, this is a mixture of vetiver plus, plus vanilla. It also has green tea and cardamom not green tea, it's just a black tea. Yeah, it's a black tea and I love this tea note, note in this fragrance. But I can also smell here powder, like iris or violet. It's not mentioned in the list of notes, but I definitely can smell some powders here, which is not very feminine. It's like a powder from uh, Dior Roman Tents, I would say. This is, it has some hints from that fragrance. Um, I love it. This fragrance is very delicate. It's not um, monstrous, but at the same time, it is much more it's longer lasting rather than the, the main line in the transparent bottles and the transparent um, uh, flacons. This one is more long lasting, but it doesn't have a, a that, uh, you know, huge projection and sillage. Probably someone who will hug you will feel it. I, I will say I would say this is a perfect fragrance for hugs. Yeah, amazing, warm, comforting, uh, cozy, um, a bit sweet, soft, fluffy vetiver. This is how I would describe this this type of vetiver. Um, and the last but not least is a feminine fragrance. Um, 
and the most probably you know this fragrance it's from Narcisse Rodriguez this is Narcisse de Parfum in a white cube and for me this is like uh, quite a feminine fragrance with some um, masculinity because the white musk that I can smell here is combined with quite a masculine vetiver and it is such a beautiful yin yang type of mixture that I adore in fragrances. What I like the most in this fragrance is the combination of these two particular notes that are the loudest, I would say, the most prominent. In this fragrance is the typical uh, Narcisse Rodriguez uh, musk, which is quite dense, thick, but fluffy at the same time, uh, feminine and powdery, and vetiver. And vetiver here is quite masculine. It's like yin and yang, as I said, and I like this unmarriable combination that they managed to marry perfectly. Just perfectly. I love this one. I love the black cube. The black cube is very similar to the white one, with the only difference that on in the top, the uh, black cube has only rose. This one has gardenia plus rose. That's why it's white. Um, but the base, the middle notes and base are similar in this fragrance. Gorgeous fragrance. I love it. It's very unique. From my point of view, it's very, very unique. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed my today's video. And if you have any of today's uh, fragrances, the fragrances that I mentioned today, please let me know what you think about them. And if you have any fragrances that you could recommend with this particular note. It doesn't matter if it's masculine or feminine. Since I adore this particular note, I'm ready to try everything. And if you have any suggestions, please let me know also in the comments uh, below. Thanks again for watching me uh, and I hope to see you in my next video. See you guys. Bye.